Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here and talk about the, uh, the total calories that you're eating and how it will vary from one person to the other. I just recorded this for about five minutes and I was recording it the wrong way on my camera. So I'm going to hold my camera and film it and talk to you. So I'm going to turn my camera around so you can understand it. Okay, so with your BMR, which is on your scans, your basal metabolic rate, I've times that by 1.55, which I'm basing it on someone being moderately active. So there's different levels of activity. So sedentary is someone that doesn't exercise, maybe has an office job, really doesn't do move their body much at all. Their BMR, that's their basal metabolic rate, their metabolism, with a little bit of movement on them, you know, digesting food, a little bit of walking around. It's not gonna need many more calories. They're gonna need 1,740 calories to maintain as they are. Someone who's lightly active would be someone maybe who is training maybe one to two times a week or possibly three to four times a week at boot camp, but they are very sedentary the rest of the day. They have an office job. Um, they maybe don't exercise that much, um, not moving their body that much. We would times their BMR by 1.375, giving their, them a little bit more calories, okay, to maintain where they're at. Moderately active is the one that I've chosen for us and this may need to change. So moderately active, you're coming to boot camp three to five days a week. Um, you're also getting in your 10,000 steps a day. Maybe you're a bit active, you're taking the kids for a swim after school or you're walking around, you're being, you have more movement, you're moderately active. We would times that by 1.55 and that's the number that I've given you deficit from. So week ones and twos, that's the number I have gone less 20%. Highly active, same thing, might be a boot camper, three to five days a week, um, but you have a very active job. You um, you might be a cleaner or you're run off your feet all day. You, you're constantly moving, you're not sitting down. So think builders and electricians, things like that. They got highly active. So they got to add more calories on. As you can see, they get to eat a bit, bit more. And then you got your athletes, extra active. I think we all know what an athlete's like. So they eat the most. Now, if you find, that I've miscalculated it, you know, there's, you know, 250 calories there difference between someone that's moderately active and lightly active. So that's why the numbers are just as a guide. Um, they're not set in stone. So plus or minus 100 calories. If you're not seeing results with the numbers that I've given you, you're not losing weight, you're not noticing a change in the clothes. Look, to be honest, you're not going to be putting on two kilos of muscle. It takes a long time to put muscle on. If you're putting weight on, um, then we probably have calculated it incorrectly. So let's cut back the calories. This is all just learning to know what your body needs. This is where I'm coming over here. I did this in the group, posted it as a picture. If you wanna think of your um, calories, your energy as like a, a fuel tank, okay? So 100%, that would be a full tank. Um, and we call it your TDEE. So that stands for, and I've just had a mental blank, Things like basically your total calories for the day. I'll put it in the comments. Your BMR makes up the majority of your calories. Your, your regular body functions, breathing, your heart pumping, things like that is something that we can't really control a lot of, but it matters a lot. And you'll see at the top here, exercise, 10%. 10% of your daily calorie intake is only from is exercise. So it matters a little bit. Things that matters a little bit more is your NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That's your movement, getting in your steps, being more active. That's very important. Doing more steps is more important than exercise in a way. So we, we do exercise for strength and toning to gain muscle, which will, when we have more muscle mass, our basal metabolic rate will rise. So if you ever notice someone that has a lower BMR, they're not a very muscular person, more muscle, faster metabolism, um, which means that you can essentially eat more food. <laughs> uh, and then digesting foods, your TEF, your thermic effective food. So protein is a uh, macronutrient that takes a lot for your body to actually process and break down. So your body is using energy, using calories to break that food down rather than fast absorbed food like um, highly absorbed carbohydrates um, or things that are easy for your body to digest. That's why protein, it, it all matters. We want to focus on increasing your muscle mass to you know, increase your numbers, 
get more movement in your day. Yes, we need to exercise to build up our muscles and we need to eat the protein to build back bigger and stronger. Please let me know if this has been helpful or has gone completely over your head and have a great day.